before we shot the first episode and I said to Peter Matei, I said, you need a, may the force be with you. You need a, you know, you need a juggalo, like whoop whoop. And so we came up with uh, a warrior cry, which is get, get, yeah. show about this family that's lived on the top of this, well, this clan that's lived on top of this mountain. Uh, they've never integrated into society, and this coal company comes along and says, that mountain's full of coal and we're gonna take it from you. And then they put up a fight. Peter Matei, the creator of the show, uh, said something very early in the process that I really enjoyed, which is, zigzag is always more intriguing than a straight line. So it's like, all of these characters have these twists and turns to them that, that you're not gonna really expect kind of lends us the opportunity to narratively go wherever we want to. First season we kind of introduced Little Foster as being this very you know um, sort of soft-spoken uh, um, son you know very sort of uh, under a domineering father. Near the end of season one we start to see that this guy's sort of had enough and um, and all throughout season two um, you know he gets isolated from his family very early into the in, into the season and um, he gets to really learn who he is and how he thinks and who he really wants to be as a man. We also get to learn that the ferals uh, aren't alone on that mountain, is that um, we introduce some, some, you know, some other characters and sort of expound upon the sort of Shea Mountain uh, mythology. Mm -hmm.